Hey there, my musically inclined brethren. I am finally back and here to share my thoughts on the most recent BeatStar season, High Voltage. This season was closely released around the new multiplayer event, but I'm going to do a separate video on that in the coming days. Season 7 brings the standard 9 new songs to the lineup. This time we've got 3 normals, 5 hards, and an extreme. I'm sticking with my usual format of discussing each song and then giving them a letter grade, but this time I'm going to go into a little bit more detail with my impressions. Let's start with the normals. First up, we've got Domino by Jesse J. This song has immediate radio appeal, and I'd bet the majority of us have heard this plenty of times outside of BeatStar. I am always a fan of this kind of uplifting pop music. It's energizing and it makes you feel good, and it's perfect easy fodder for rhythm games like this. The chart turned out exactly as I hoped it would, being a simple, easier normal that's accessible to everyone. It's also worth mentioning that you can really feel the effect of the hold swipe change on songs like this. In the older days, all the hold swipes near the end of the chart would be frustrating, but now they're fun. Great timing to release this not too long after that update. I'm giving Domino an A+. It does everything right, and I expect a lot of other people love this one as well. Next, we'll look at Take Me Out by Franz Ferdinand. This song was in one of the original Guitar Hero games and gained a lot of notoriety from that if you hadn't already heard of it. It's not my kind of music, but I do think it has a good place in a game like BeatStar. It's a slow song, and that might cause some issues for players who struggle with controlling their speed. Near the end, they throw in 16th notes to add a little difficulty spike, but it's appropriate, and this isn't anything too outrageous, even for a normal. Still, the chart ended up being a little bit awkward and not particularly fun. This one will get a B. Believe it or not, I think this is probably the weakest song of the whole season, and if the weakest link is a B, you know where this season's going. The last normal is Kryptonite by Three Doors Down, another iconic song that you've heard one million times if you live in America. I love swing rhythm songs, and I'm always happy when more of that is added to BeatStar. However, people generally struggle with those, and this song is no exception. This is a tough normal song with plenty of syncopated vocals. My first impression upon seeing this chart was that I wish they made it a bit harder, but I think I'm revising that, and I feel like it ended up in a pretty good spot. Just maybe some missed opportunities with the drums, but whatever. Kryptonite's getting an A. It's wonderful all around, but just the tiniest bit rough around some of the edges. Moving on up to the hards, which were the bulk of the new songs added this season. I'll start with Tub Thumping, which is probably the most well-known song of this update. If you can look past the, uh, interesting album art and nasty green color scheme, you'll see another very solid new swing rhythm song. Space Ape loves their repetition, but this one feels tastefully done. The repetition is broken up a few times and it gets progressively harder throughout the song. We hear with all the ups and downs in the lyrics and the matching swipes that go with them. My only gripe with this song is that the sync feels just a little bit late in the second half, like maybe a song cut they did was a tad off. However, it's impossible to argue that such an iconic song doesn't belong in BeatStar, and they did a great job representing it here. Tub Thumping is getting an A from me. What's Golden by Jurassic 5 was one of the few songs I'd never heard from this season. This song feels like it came straight from a PlayStation 2 sports game soundtrack, like NBA Street or Dave Mirror BMX or something. I dig the song, it's just kind of muffled and quiet, but it's 20 years old, so it's forgivable. The chart is a doozy. Here we are with another swing rhythm chart, but this one is much more intricately patterned and has some seriously tricky parts. It's undoubtedly rocketed to the upper echelons of the hard charts in the game, and I know it's giving a lot of people difficulties with scoring. I am personally a huge fan of difficult to time charts like this. They feel good to learn and they add a lot of unique flavor to the game. What's Golden is getting an A plus from me. I didn't know what to expect with it being an unfamiliar song, but I came out pleasantly surprised. Up next is Hysteria, as another Muse song joins the library. I had a big obsession with Muse back in my early college days, and this song totally rules. If you haven't heard many of their songs, this is a perfect one to be introduced to. The chart is entirely 8th notes, so there's not a lot of complexity to the rhythms here, but the chart artists didn't let that stop them from showing some impressive creativity. This is a pretty tough hard chart, especially if you struggle with taps, because the final stage has a big long stream of them. This is a great opportunity to practice some finger switching on these taps, which is kind of a niche skill set for BeatStar, but it's a ton of fun and it makes particular charts like this one much easier. Hysteria is also getting an A plus for me. 
Next up, we've got Thrash Metal Cassette, which is currently the only song in the game where you can see a shirtless dude vibing with pizza. I hadn't heard of this song before, but I generally like metal. To be totally honest, I love this song, and I'm gonna go look up more of Dinosaur Pileup stuff later on. Not a lot of this type of music in Beatstar, so I'm glad to see them add some more of it. I keep saying this, but this is another difficult hard. This chart has a lot of doubles in it, and it gets relentless in a few sections. I have to mention the short tap section in the beginning, which is somehow just totally broken. Someone completely mistimed the middle three notes, and it feels so bad. Besides that little blip, the rest of the chart is appropriately written and creative, and I continue to be impressed with the team that writes these. Thrash Metal Cassette is gonna land with an A. The last heart of the season is You Spin Me Round by Dead or Alive. Definitely another classic song, this time almost 40 years old. I always appreciate that Space Ape tries to put something for everyone in these updates. Another slow song with a spike in difficulty at the end, just like Take Me Out. They had a lot of fun with the spinning swipes following the vocals here, and I'd have it no other way. If you all haven't already seen my good friend Vertigo Music's video of him helicoptering his phone all over the place while still DPing the song, please go check it out. The transition to the 16th notes and the end of the song was a little too restrained for me, and I'm disappointed they charted the whole ending as mostly two-note drills instead of more fun patterns. I have a feeling they didn't want to bump the difficulty up too much, which does make sense. I think it just makes the song end on a boring note. I'm giving this one a B plus, but I know a lot of people really enjoy this. And we're now to the extreme. This season brought us a challenge, and we live forever by the prodigy. First off, gotta make this immediately clear that this song is an absolute banger and is a perfect choice for an extreme. There's a lot to talk about with this chart, but boy oh boy is it a tough one. This song is Swipe Mania, kinda similar to Party Hard in a couple spots, but then turning into something like a supercharged version of Ride It near the end. You've really got to focus during the entire last leg or you're gonna get overwhelmed. Unless you're just very comfortable with swipes, I'd say this is most likely the toughest song to clear in the game, slightly edging out the Trooper and Gimme Chocolate. The saving grace here is that it isn't very difficult to score on, provided you can keep up with it, so I don't think it's the overall hardest song. For the majority of casual players, clearing this song is gonna be a nightmare. Once you've gotten it down though, it is so much fun. It's hard for me to pick a favorite extreme, but it just might be this one. Really, really impressed. Giving We Live Forever an S, it's exactly the kind of difficulty and innovation I want to see in new extremes. Season 7 High Voltage was a slam dunk. I thought Season 6 was great, but this one is even a sizable step up from that. When I make a list of what I want out of a new season, this one checks off every box. Familiar songs, songs I haven't heard, a wide range of impressively creative charts, a challenging new extreme, and even a perfect spread of new normal charts, they just nailed it. For me personally, this is my favorite season so far. I'd say We Live Forever, What's Golden, and Domino are the three best of each difficulty. Have you been liking the new season songs? Let me know how you'd rank everything in the comments. I'll be back soon with another video on the multiplayer event and then some more score videos and the July tier lists. Special thanks as always to my Patreon donors and subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, click that pretty button and get washed over by waves of glorious BeatStar content. Until next time, I'll see you on the internet.